This week, we're going to take a look at entitlement management, which comes part of Microsoft 365 and Azure Active Directory. And specifically, we're going to talk about the awesome Access Packages feature, and more importantly, what it can do for you. Stay tuned. You're going to learn something. Hello everybody, how are you? Welcome back to my channel, Ali Malone, Microsoft MVP. So nice to see you, especially if this is your first visit. So on this week's episode, I thought I'd take a look at entitlement management, which comes part of Microsoft 365 and Azure Active Directory. Now, you being an, uh, a Microsoft 365 administrator might go and say to me, Andy, it's not in Microsoft 365, uh, but my friend, it is. And it actually can be found in Azure Active Directory, but it's kind of one of those weird tools you think it should be in Microsoft 365, and maybe one day it actually will be. Now, within entitlement management, we're going to talk about uh, catalogs of resources and then creating an access package from those resources. And I gotta tell you, it's such a cool feature. Now, you all, uh, I'm sure, are aware that you can share documents out, you can share documents in OneDrive, but wouldn't it be cool to be able to share a package of resources, a package that contains like Teams or group membership, SharePoint websites and uh, documents or even applications. How cool would that be? Well, that's the whole idea behind entitlement management. But just how it works, well, we're going to take a look. Now, if you've not subscribed to the channel, we love subscribers. So bump that uh, subscribe button, ring the bell, and you'll be notified of any new videos coming up. And if you enjoy the video, then bumping that like button really does make a difference uh, to my channel. And as always, comments, questions, get them down below, and I'll do my very best for you. So, without any more jibber-jabber, I think it's about time we get to the demos. Time to learn. Okay, so I'm going to kick off my demo here in Microsoft 365, and I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to come into Azure Active Directory. Now, what we're looking for um, needs to go into Azure AD, and then if you scroll down, you'll find a category here called Identity Governance. Now, Identity Governance contains a suite of tools for identity governance. And this includes entitlement management, access reviews, and privileged uh, identity management, both of which I've covered in previous videos. So to start, what we can do here is we can come into Entitlement Management and I'm going to create something today called an Access Package. And the first thing you need to do is you need to create a catalog of resources from which to create an Access Package. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to create a catalog and I'm going to call this my, I'm in Oslo at the moment, so I'll call this my Oslo HQ catalog. Okay, so this is my catalog, and I can put in a little description here. Um, for the purposes of the demo, I'm just going to copy and just paste that in here. Now, um, do you want to enable it? And also, is it enabled for external users? So if you've got any kind of guest or external user access, you can either decide, no, it's only for internal users and, and so on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit Create. So that's my catalog. Now, I'm going to go into the catalog, and one of the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add some resources to the catalog, okay? So here we have, and I'm going to go in here, I'm going to click on Add Resources. Now, this is what makes this super cool, is that you can add in a number of different types of resources. So if your users are being involved, let's say, in, in a, let's say, some kind of project with, uh, where it requires collaboration, let's say, between yourselves, and let's say a partner company or a supplier or a contractor, then this is really useful. So I can literally just go into here and I can say, hey, are there any groups or teams that I want my uh, users to be able to access? So, for example, we've got some 
we've got a students group here. I might say, okay, what else have we got? We might have uh, some sales teams um, that I want my users to be involved with. So let's say sales planning and the sales team. So I want to add those teams and groups here into this catalog of resources. You might also want to add in some applications. So for example, uh, Box, um, I might want to add in Zoom, maybe a VPN server for remote users. You might want to bring in LinkedIn, for example, and so on. I'm going to click on Select. And the final thing is I can now bring in some SharePoint websites as well. So again, we're in Oslo, so I'm going to bring in my Oslo uh, content and also my Oslo students. And again, I'm also interested in sales, so I'm going to bring in my sales best practices and my sales planning uh, websites as well. So you can see here I'm creating a catalog of resources and I'm going to click on add and there we go okay so I've now added my resources in here and from that I can now create an access package so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on to access package I'm going to create a new package and I'll just call this my Oslo project and I'll call this my oops yep Oslo project access package okay uh, again I can put in a description so I'll again I'll just copy this across all right and I'm going to click on next okay now it's saying okay you want to create an access package from which resources and look here's our resources that we just added from our catalog so, for example, this project might involve some students. It might involve some uh, applications. So I'll bring in um, Zoom and LinkedIn. Um, it might involve some SharePoint sites. So again, you can bring in a number of resources. Now, as you bring in the resource, for example, uh, if it's a group or a team, you can also assign a role. So do you want the user to be an owner? Probably not in this case, just a member of that team. Um, again, also some applications um, require certain levels of permissions. So you can see here, for example, with Zoom, depending on the license that you're using. Again, I'm just going to use uh, basic licenses for this demo. With websites, there are three sets of permissions that you can use. Members are basically full control permissions. You can add, read, edit, and so on. Owners, of course, gives you administrator rights. And visitors, maybe just read-only interaction. So in this case, that's what I'm going to choose here for my visitors. And then we're going to click next and say, OK, how do we want to handle requests? So other requests for users in my directory. Is it users not in my directory? Or do you just want to do it where the administrator or a manager can assign uh, access? So for this demo, I'm going to say for users not in my directory. And I'm going to say, OK, so it might be guest or contractors or whatever. Uh, and you can say, okay, why do you need access? Okay, and you can ask a question to the user and you can choose the format. So is it a multiple choice? Is it a long text? And they can put the reason in. And you can also specify, is it required? Okay, um, then we click on the life cycle. So how long are we going to grant access for? So a number of hours, a number of days, so in this case, I might say, yeah, I'm going to do this for 14 days, just a short project. Users can request a specific time limit. I'm going to say no. And again, you can also allow users to extend the time as well if they want to. And are you going to allow, do you need approval for this? Again, yes or no. Again, I'm just going to click no there. Now, one of the things that you can also do is you can uh, do an access review. Now, with 14 days, to be honest, 
it doesn't really matter. But if it was over a year, for example, you might want to do an access view weekly or monthly or quarterly or something like that. All right, so that's a really nice feature. I'm going to click on next and you can at this point you can add in some additional rules so um, if assignment is granted then do this and so on um, so you can add in the different rules there if you want to again I'm not going to bother with that I'm just going to click on next and then finally it comes down to review and create now just a quick tip if there are any red uh, items here, it means that you're potentially missing something. So it may come back and prompt you. So you can see here, it says, hey, hang on, there's something that you've missed out on. So if I click on requests, and I need to go back in, and I need to fix the problem. So in other words, I said I want to um, allow access packages for guest access. So is it any specific connected organization, all configured connected organization, or all users? So again, for this purpose, I'm just going to say all users. Okay. Um, and again, the uh, justification. Um, does the user need to put in the justification? Um, again, one stage. Am I going to uh, approve that so am I going to do a sponsor uh, who's going to approve the access and you uh, here you can even add in a failback so I've got a user here called the mod administrator and I'm just going to use that okay the decision must be made within let's say two days okay and again does it require uh, approver justification again I'm gonna say no here finally am I ready to enable this yes I am so I'm just gonna click onto that now and I'm gonna click on next all right and we've already covered this so again I just flip through everything and then finally I'm now going to create okay so there we go I have now created the access package so how do I get access to this access package? Well, you can see here, see here my portal link here. And if I just click on copy, that will now take me to my access package. So in this demo, you can see that uh, I've got successfully some uh, project files. I've got some websites and I've got some access to Teams as well as some applications. So how cool is that? That is such a nice feature access packages and entitlement management so there you have it entitlement management and access packages how cool is that and i guarantee you'll find that really really useful okay if you enjoyed the session bump the like button it really does make a difference to my channel and of course if you're not subscribed then we love subscribers so hit that subscribe button ring the bell and you won't miss out on any future tutorials all right questions comments get them down below and uh, thank you so much for dropping by this week. I really do appreciate it. Okay, I'll see you next time. You stay safe and I'll see you soon. Take care. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.